Hello and welcome to the eMarketing website. I just want to walk you through a couple of the features of the website because one of the things I've learned over the years of running learning management systems is what is self-explanatory to the person who created the site isn't always obvious to the people using the site. First up, your participation forums are, for the participation and engagement, these are all preloaded and ready for the semester. They will roll out in sequence and they will be just there on the Mondays and the Sundays and Mondays, it will just appear. So that's all preset. If you want to post up your own threads and comments and topics, more than happy to have that happen. Love to see it. Definitely counts towards your engagements. Second thing is that we are using a feedback form to help. So if you want to ask a question, you're unsure of anything, we've got this set up so that it's structured. I've got a record of it for helping build frequently asked questions lists and for improving the subject overall. Plus, you have an option. I can reply to you directly. I can do a forum post. I can arrange a consultation meeting with you, or I can mention it in the live classes or the week ahead. This is where I'm going to put up a number of assets and materials. They are basically voluntary content, but they're being added in for the express purpose of, I see something useful, I'm going to put it in here. So there's a lot of the market segmentation and customer co-creation of value aspects of, not everything that shows up in course resources will be useful for you. And anything that shows up in course resources will be useful when you use it rather than its mere presence of being here. All of the information in terms of marking rubrics, expectations, guides, walkthrough videos, all four assessment tasks have their content up and available at this point in time. A reminder that when you see the little folder icon, that means that there's additional content I was aware the page was getting very cluttered as it stood, so I tried to put things behind into folders and sort things out and organize things. But you'll note that there are supporting documents. There's a PowerPoint and there's a Word document. Both contain expectations around the assessment task. The Word document lets me go into better detail on the rubrics, and the PowerPoint document is what I talk through in the videos. There are two other elements I just wanted to quickly draw your attention to, is you'll see that there are restricted objects here. If you score below a distinction in the e-technology analysis, you have the option for a resubmission. Your resubmission grade will be capped at distinction. Anytime you see a restricted, on a walkthrough like this, you see a restricted element, it's either got a time lock on it or it's got a requirement lock. If you've got a distinction or higher for the grade, you won't see the ETA resubmission because you don't need it. You, that's it. You'll see, again, the last chance salon um, resubmission for the performance review was there. And this is set up so that you have an opportunity. That opportunity is available to you for certain uh, segments of the audience. And when you don't need it or don't have it, we don't clutter up your don't clutter up your page with it. In the overview section, there will be a week ahead briefing video. There will be the Padlet, and the Padlet is a review point. This is part of your participation and engagement marks opportunities to engage with the Padlet. We will run a practice in the live learnings. But basically, it looks each week looks a little something like this. The questions might, there may be variants in the questions, particularly around the lead up and just after an assessment task. Effectively, what I'm looking to get you to do is to just reflect 
practice your reflection for your ePortfolio. You also see that uh, each week we'll have some readings. They will vary between whether they're video, whether they're PDFs, where a reading is referenced in the on-demand learning, it's there so you can deep dive. I will do a one slide summary of it. I want to give you the chance to do your own co-creation. So each week in the on-demand learning, there will be three distribution points of the same content. We are using Echo 360 as the ANU required platform. The same content is being made available through Microsoft Stream because we are testing a new platform. And lastly, I've got the content up on YouTube because I've got a YouTube channel and I use it. And also, I will reiterate this multiple times, it's the same content across all three platforms. We have a live class. They are on the Monday, they are on the Tuesday. On the Wednesday, we release the Shadowhawker cut-down version of it. All Shadowhawker sessions have been pre-recorded and they are all queued for delivery. They will go live on the Wednesdays. We are doing this because the internet is not a fire and forget. It's not a binge solution. You need to come back and engage consistently and persistently to get the maximum value from a social media account or an online platform or an online system. That's why we respect the Netflix model in this subject. You can binge, download and binge watch the entire of the on-demand learning because it's on demand. The live learning events, including the Shadowhawker pre-recorded Wednesday vending machine, those are staggered releases because episodic training and episodic learning is what makes you a better e-marketer. So it's your work integrated learning protocol here is you've got to show up and put the yards in week after week after week. At the end of each of the live, uh, the pre-record events and live events, I will go and make a comment to the effect of rather than being like, share and subscribe, it's if you need me, contact me over email, use the online form or book a session. We're using an online booking system because we have solid integration between this booking form, my office 365, Microsoft Teams, so you book in here for a Teams consultation. All consultations will be done in the virtual. If you don't book a time, I'm not going to switch the webcam on and I won't be seeing you. With that, see you in the live sessions.